Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez bien. Aujourd'hui, on va parler de 5 expressions de temps. That's time expressions in English. And the expressions we're going to cover today are probably ones that you have not covered in your books or your courses, which is exactly the kind of content we love to cover here on the channel. But first of all, I have a question for you. I'd love to know what is it that you're struggling with in your French studies at the moment? It could be absolutely anything from culture to grammar. Let me know in the comments down below. Mais si vous êtes prêts, c'est parti! Tout d'abord, pour cette première expression, imagine that you have something really exciting coming up, like a holiday, and you ask yourself, oh, what should I do with myself between now and then? Well, how would you ask that in French? Well, one way is you could say, Qu'est-ce que je peux faire d'ici là? Qu'est-ce que je peux faire d'ici là? And the part we care about here is the d'ici là. But wait, doesn't ici mean here and là mean there? Well, yes, but the French also use them a lot for time expressions. There are rules, of course, but of course, rules are broken, even more so in informal speech, which is what we cover here on the channel. If you'd like me to do a video all about ici and là, then let me know down in the comments. Ça me ferait plaisir. But for now, just remember that d'ici là means between now and then. It isn't a fixed expression, however. We can say d'ici followed by anything that's in the future. For example, d'ici demain, d'ici ce soir, d'ici le 15. And le 15 here would be the 15th of the month, provided it's in the future. Dites-moi, qu'est-ce que vous faites d'ici la semaine prochaine? Numéro 2. It might be rare, but isn't it cool when French gives us a way to say something that is shorter than the equivalent in our native language? Entre temps, entre temps is a way we can say in the meantime in English. Okay, yes, you could also say meanwhile, which maybe is the same length or shorter, but really, who says meanwhile anymore? And literally, it translates to between time, which I find really easy to remember. Ever wondered how the French say 24-7, as in, that McDonald's is open 24-7? By the way, I'm not affiliated whatsoever with McDonald's, but guys, if you're listening and you want to send me some free Big Macs, I won't turn them away. Of course you haven't, because you don't go to McDonald's, right? Yeah, okay. All right, the library. Have you ever wondered how to say the library is open 24-7? Well, in French, it isn't as simple as just saying, La bibliothèque est ouverte 24 heures 7 ou 24 7. They say 24 heures sur 24, 7 jours sur 7. Sur, because that's how they say out of, as in 8 out of 10 on a test. They would say 8 sur 10, because if you can imagine a fraction, you have the top number above the bottom number separated by a line. So you can imagine it like that, it's 8 sur 10. 8 is on top of 10. You can also use the two phrases separately. So if you just want to say 24 hours a day, you say 24 heures sur 24. 24 heures sur 24. And so yes, if you want to say 7 days a week, you say 7 jours sur 7. 7 jours sur 7. C'est simple, mais c'est différent de l'anglais, donc je l'adore. Okay, these two you've definitely learned early on in your French studies, but I found that people get them mixed up or even think they mean the same thing. The difference is subtle, but it can be very important to how your sentence is understood. Take these two for example. You could say both, j'y serai en 30 minutes. J'y serai en 30 minutes. And you could also say, j'y serai dans 30 minutes. Dans 30 minutes. Now, what is the difference between these two sentences? Well, here, en means within. So, you could be there, wherever the destination is, up to 30 minutes. In up to 30 minutes. So, it, you could be there very soon, or you could be there after 30 minutes have passed. Whereas with dans, you're saying you're going to be there in 30 minutes. So, the person should not expect you there before 30 minutes. You shouldn't be late, but it would be more acceptable to use dans 30 minutes and be a few minutes late than to say en 30 minutes, which is within 30 minutes. 
As you can imagine, the more urgent or formal the situation, the more important getting this right would become. It's great learning new expressions at any level, and I love taking the ones that I've learned at lower levels and being able to make them more precise because I feel like it shows I have more control of the language and therefore I feel like I've gone up a level. I'm sure you're familiar with the term être à l'heure, être à l'heure, je suis à l'heure. It means to be on time or I'm on time. Well, a nice touch is to add the word pile to emphasize the fact that the person is right on time. Être pile à l'heure. Être pile à l'heure. In fact, pile can be really useful because it's used to emphasize, or en français, mettre l'action sur, the fact that something is exact. So if a place, for example, is bang in the middle of two other places, we could say cet endroit est pile au milieu des deux autres. Cet endroit est pile au milieu des deux autres. So if knowing something like être à l'heure makes you feel accomplished, then I would say that être pile à l'heure is the icing on the cake. What other icings on the cakes, if that's a thing to say, are you proud about knowing in French? Let me know down in the comments. Voilà, c'est fini. I hope that you enjoyed this list and it's given you a bit more of an insight into the real French language that's spoken here in France and that's just hidden in plain sight. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like down below. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on that big red subscribe button. But thank you very much for watching, or merci de regarder. À la prochaine. Ciao.